this, put glass in there. The last donation was $20, and the average donation is $20. <laughs> so um, I think they just put $20 in each. Hello everybody, and you have made it to episode 2, congratulations. Now, welcome to Planet Zoo. Um, this is an absolutely awesome game, and I just wanted to actually show you um, the scenery, and how nice it is, and you're surrounded by nature now. Um, now, there have been quite a few things that I have done. Um, in fact, there's not actually i tell a lie there is one thing that i've done um i have actually made this enclosure smaller because they're they are literally just two dragons and they do not need a massive enclosure um one good thing is that the money has gone up and this um what is it donations box it actually made two thousand four hundred dollars which i am actually quite surprised about um the large donation was twenty dollars the last donation was $20, and the average donation is $20. <laughs> so um, I think they just put $20 in each time. So um, I have moved, I've hidden the heater actually. Um, now it just looks like this plant is on fire. Um, it's not on fire, don't worry. It, is, um, it could actually catch fire because the heater is actually, I think, heat coming out of some sort of gas thing. Anyway, let's not worry about that. That is now kind of hidden. Um, but anyway, so what I was thinking was, um, this can be our... one of the larger enclosures, let's say. So, uh, we're just gonna put some more glass in over here. If we toggle this... Put glass in there. Lovely. Now, um, what animals to get to next? I don't know. Um, let's have a look. So, um, aardvarks. Oh, Arctic wolves. They look fun. This one has a silver medal. We could get two Arctic Wolves, but I don't know. Or should we get a, a, a Tapir? In fact, no, there's only one of them. Wildebeest. I can't afford any of them. Let's just skip past them. <laughs> um, you see, Ostrich would be good, but there's only two males. You see, I would want a male and a female. So they can actually breed. Um, giant Panda. We're going to have to get one of them soon. Ling. <laughs> that must be its name. Um, we can get some Indian peafowls, but um, Indian rhino. Oh. Obviously, you have to use your little leafy things, which is called the conservation credits. And, you know, I can't because I don't have that many. Nile monitors, we've already got them. Nyalas, now they look nice. Zebra, red panda, I like them, they're cute, crocodile, snow leopards, hmm, we could get some hyenas actually, but I don't know, um, let's refresh, let's go all the way back up, meow. Um, quit that, go back into animal trading, and let's have a look at what we have. Um, doesn't actually look like it's refreshed, anything. Um, I think we might get some wildebeest. Yes, so we'll adopt that. Brilliant. And we shall adopt this female one, another female. Now that should be fine. Send you to there. Um, 
No, they're not down there. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Um, let's just go to trade history. There we go. Um, or maybe not. Zoo. Um, okay, if it's trading. Ooh, now these are where you can actually buy like, um, snakes. You can get the common death adder. Oh, that looks fun. <laughs> or these, the eastern brown snake, which, if I'm not wrong, is actually quite venomous. Um, giant tiger land snail. Goliath beetle, tarantula, small snakes. So we'll have to get some of them at some point, but um, not today. If we go back to their storage, that's where they are. Um, so we'll send you over there. And then we will send you to Habitat 2. Lovely. So, um, they will come across when I click play, but we need to do a bit of research into their habitat. Now, firstly, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to start by um, pushing this path out a little bit, because I have actually had um, a plan. Now, I don't know whether that's a good idea in my case, because I don't know if I come up with good plans or not, but um, we will try our best. And see what we come out with. So, the plan was, if we don't delete any more paths, we come out here, and then we go that way, like that, and then we just start curving in a little bit, like so, with my wonky path still, but, um, that looks a little better. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are going to get the paths. We're going to make a split here. And then if we press U, there we go. We can actually get some stairs. Like so. And I actually just want it to go straight. It doesn't look like I can. Why can I only go that way? I don't want to do that. I want to go straight. What is wrong with you? Um, how about if we press a line to grid? There we go. So we can create sort of a square viewing platform. So we've gone two out on that side, so we will go two out on this side, like so. And I actually think that that looks rather nice. Um, let's just delete that. There we go. How nice. So, oh. <laughs> I've gone one too many out on this side now. There we go. So, lovely, we've got quite a uh, nice viewing platform there. Which is rather high up, and I think it should be quite a bit lower. Um, so let's just delete everything that I did, and um, I will be back with you all <laughs> when I have actually figured out what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have finally figured out what we are going to do. For some reason, the screen keeps going a bit dark and then light. I don't know why, because we're on um, pause. But anyway, I figured out this is the viewing platform. We're going to have the bison strolling beneath. And that is actually, I think that can actually be classed as their hard shelter as well. Um, because they can actually sleep under there. I believe that's what they can happen, but um, I don't know. Um, but we're going to start by just decorating this bit first. Although, actually, I think we should do the habitat first. No, let's do the habitat first. Um, so if we filter... 
In fact, let's just um, let's just get the bison in first of all. Speed! <laughs> He's flying across. Oh no, he stopped. Um, so this is sunrise actually. Um, I'm actually very happy. Oh, $2,520 now. Lots more. High amounts of litter. Do we actually have... Caretaker, yeah? Resting and moving an animal. So here we go. Not the bison, sorry. These are black wildebeest, aren't they? There we go. Wow. So we have our wildebeest here. Um, we should actually enjoy this area. Um, but the first thing I am going to do is we're going to pause. We're going to stick down. Uh, is it in facilities? It is. We are going to stick a donation box here and then we should put one smack bang in the middle, I think that's smack bang in the middle. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong, that's probably not smack bang, but that is close enough. Um, so we've got some donation boxes, um, hopefully that will actually boost our increase in profits. Um, I shall get the enclosure done and I shall see you in a minute. Okay, so we've got the terrain done and do you know what, these guys are really um, low maintenance because the plants are absolutely fine, I don't think they actually want any. Um, coverage is adequate. And the terrain is absolutely perfect. We just had to put down uh, a bit more soil. But apart from that, they are absolutely fine. Now, we're going to move on to enrichment. Now, they do want some sort of enrichment. So, if we're going to habitats... I wonder what continent these are from. Grassland. Why that matters, I have no idea. Um, but... It's not content pack. Theme, they're like African. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> wow. So we actually need to get some research done. Um. That's, um, uh, how do you pronounce that? Guillermo? Yeah, you can, uh, you can research the black wildebeest and then when we're at level one, we should have some sort of enrichment for them. So, um, I think the only thing now is to press play and they can get on with it. Hopefully some people are going to come over now and see the, the um, Black Wildebeest for the first time, but there is another one coming. I can just see the um, little head running over. There we go. <laughs> She's just running over here. The vet's just checking up on them, I think. On his iPad tablet thing. So she's just going to launch a Black Wildebeest right in front of this guy. <laughs> Perfect, so we have our three wildebeest, and there's the sun! Just a beam of light came over us then. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. Better research is complete. Ah, so we have our Nile monitors um, done. So, yes, if you just continue with that, we have no diseases yet, but... Um, if any of our animals do get any disease, we will research it um, straight away um, to help them, you know, just to help them, really. What's this? High amounts of litter. Now, I think we're going to have to place some bins. Go into facilities. 
We'll just pop a few bins down. There we go. If we um, just pop a bin up there. Lovely. So what I think I'm going to do as well is we shall put a... Oh, we can't put the education... Oh, can we? If we put it there, press X and actually move it up. There we go. Oh, that's not even the right one. Forget that. Facilities. There we go. That's the right one. There we go. So now if you press on that. And put the black wildebeest on. Oh, no power. That could be a problem. Oh, the nine monsters are about to mate. Where are they? There they are. Oh. I'm guessing the female is a smaller one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, meat. I mean, that actually doesn't really look like meat. But <laughs> um, it's fairly close. But here they are, look. People are checking out the black wildebeest. They're actually like proper zoo animals as well, you know, like wildebeest and you get a lot of them at the zoos, especially with the viewing platforms. But the inspector's coming soon in four months, so we've got to be on our best behaviour. And um, let's just try and get a bit of research done before I check back with you all. Diseased animal has been found. Oh god. Um, okay, so let's just pause there. Um, We'll just put a path in here. Let's make it a staff path. There we go. No, doesn't seem to like that. Let's just get rid of it and put a normal path down then. Uh... Um, I think if we just, <laughs> if we just move it. Um, I guess that'll have to do. Um, anyway, let's see what, um... It's in one of the black wildebeest. So we will... We'll call a vet to take her. But it's the border telosis. So if we go into our research and take um, Alicia off of the Nile monitors and put her straight onto that, um, then we can get that disease sorted out, hopefully, and then have some sort of vaccine. Um, but until then, she'll be in quarantine until we have any further notice. So we only have two wildebeest now um, until she comes back from quarantine, which shouldn't be long. Uh, but anyway, that's sorted out. We've got power now. So the black wildebeest are showing and are ready to educate people. Um, now, hang on. Is this an LCD screen? It is. I can't be out in the rain. <laughs> um, okay, let's just pretend it's not an LCD screen and it is waterproof. You never know, it might be. You never know with Planet Zoo. Anything can do anything or whatever. You know, things are very random in Planet Zoo, so... An LCD screen in the rain is probably something that you would find in Planet Zoo, and you've just found out. 
So the party status is fine. That barrier status is fine. Now I'm worried about this barrier state. Oh no, the barrier status is fine. It just looks a little bit cracked from here. But it's fine apparently. This barrier. All fine. So, if we just get the vets to come. Come and collect this person. Here's the vet rushing. Is she gonna pull some sort of gun out or something? No. She's gonna check her tablet first. She's rushing over. <laughs> They do this creepy weird singing thing that goes like da da Okay, so that is all sorted out. The first people up on the viewing platform. Are you gonna donate something or Well the money's going up, so we must be getting some donations, but nothing here. Whoa, lady. Um, you're risking it a bit there. You stood on the edge. Oh, so are you. I mean, I wouldn't stand there. <laughs> okay, I, I, yeah, that's your choice. Don't fall in, though. <laughs> um, let's check this donation box, see how much we've got. Nothing. So they're being extremely generous, aren't they? Not. Um, whatever. Um, the inspector will be arriving in two months, so... Um, I guess that we can pick this up next week. Um, this should be Saturday when you're watching it, or Sunday. Depends how quickly I get my editing done, but thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.